Hello, welcome to Tech Lounge. In this episode of Tech Lounge, I'm going to be taking you through how to take a document or PowerPoint or something similar and upload it to Sway and let Sway do all the work for you. Now, if you haven't done so already, I recommend you watch my introduction video to Sway. Or if you're confident or and you've watched that video already, then um, this is a good um, video to watch next. So in our previous video, we looked at create new when you're on the main Sway page. But on this particular video, we want to be looking at start from a document. So make sure you're on the main Sway page, log in, do the things necessary there. And then left click once on start from a document. And what happens is it opens up uh, your every all the files and folders on your computer. You search through them and you find a document that you want to upload. So in this case, I want my PowerPoint introduction to the internet and networking. I'm going to left click once, and left click once on open. And what will happen is Sway will start thinking in the background of how best to present this information. It will take a few seconds, but once it's done, you'll be presenting your stuff in tiles or the uh, cards as it like to refer to. Now, while that's still working, I'll just let you know that a good thing that Sway is good for in this instance is sometimes students may be away or they find it hard to um, take in the information. So this is a good means of um, presenting your PowerPoint information in a way that's more easily digestible. So perhaps students could be reading through this whilst you're presenting the PowerPoint, or perhaps if you're going to do a flipped learning approach, students could be using this information at home and then you um, take them through the class or the practical side of things when they get to class the next lesson. There's many, many, many things you could probably, probably think of in best use for this. But um, in this case, what it's doing is it's taking what you've already done and put it into a different format, which is really handy. So here we are, and we've got our cards ready available from everything that was in my PowerPoint. Now, it's pretty much taken everything that was on a separate slide, and it's put them, each slide, on a card. So um, what if you didn't particularly like uh, this part or this card being before this part? Well, what you can do is you can left click once, that highlights it, and it gets that green border. And then move your cursor around until you see the four arrows that go in opposite directions. Hold down left click and then drag to a part where you'd like that card to be. So I might want that card to go here. So there's a green line in between the two cards. I'm going to let go. And what we'll do is it puts this card now in between these two cards. So you can reorganize your PowerPoint, make it look a bit neater and nicer. In terms of neater and nicer, um, you can press play to view it and it will show you what it currently looks like in its current format that Sway decided to set out for you. So this is how it would work and look. But you can change things around, so you might not like that. So if I go and move my cursor up here to the top uh, where it says go back, I'm going to go back on the web browser. And I'm now going to move my cursor to um, this part over here to the left, top left. So right now we're in storyline. That means which you know where you put in your content and where in which order you want your content, etc. Design knows what we want next. So I'm going to left click once on design, and this is our current web page and what it looks like. Now I'm going to move the cursor to the top right over styles and left click once on styles, and it will bring up a pane with lots of options. Now the first thing is it highlights here, try remix. So I'm going to show you what remix is. So when we first put in our PowerPoint, what Sway did was it thought of a really good way of presenting your PowerPoint. I might not like it though. Rather than go through it and change it all myself, I might see if Sway has another style that works better for me. So it's kind of like a random luck thing. I'm going to left click once on remix and randomly it will work through and present it in a different way for me. So here we are. Okay, so here's the new um, style that Sway's picked for me. I quite like this style, so I think I'm going to leave this style up. But if you didn't, there's these two arrows above Remix. One is Undo, and the other one is Redo. Now, because I 
I haven't got anything to redo that's um, shaded out. But the undo, if I click on this, it will take me back to the original style. But since I like this style, I think I'll leave it here. Below this remix, though, are three other boxes. So we've got vertical, horizontal, and slides. If I click on vertical, that's a pretty simple one. It's like a web page. So you scroll from top to bottom. If I go to horizontal, it's very similar to a web page again, except you're going from left to right. So I move my cursor over here, go left to right. And finally, slides is very much like the PowerPoint. And you'll literally go through each slide. Now, the reason why I don't use slides is simply because I put a PowerPoint on here. I don't want to do the same thing again um, and besides vertical it's easier to digest information kind of like reading a book or reading for a web page yourself plus you've got your mouse wheel and everything and it's easier to scroll through using that so I'm going to leave mine on vertical underneath that you have customize your sway so what we're going to do here is I'm going to select select rather customize and you've got all these options now you've got color inspiration and color palettes. So color inspiration means you choose a particular color. In this case, it's kind of that is it's curated for us. It's that kind of aquamarine green type color. Um, and it will give us some palette options based on that color that we can choose from at the bottom here. You can click on custom. And if you know the hexadecimal code, for your particular color that you want you can place that in here and it'll come up with some suggestions again along the bottom but let's say let's choose a picture with lots of color in let's say this picture that i've got here of spongebob um as soon as i select that it comes up with some color palettes for me so maybe i like let's choose something like this now i'll change my web page into this black background and this Again, this greenish um, cyan type color. Um, but I'm sure you get the point. You just scroll through your slides and then you can choose some color palettes. Below that are your font choices. So this is very much as you would use on Word. Um, so maybe I'd want this font and I'll select that and it will change the font to this particular one I've just chose here. And below that, you've got your animation emphasis. All that means is that when pictures pop in and out or move left to right, um, how subtle is that? Is it really quite um, in your face? Is it really um, dramatic or is it less dramatic? So let's make it as quite intense or dramatic. And then you've got your text size. That's pretty self-explanatory. Once I'm done, there's no save button or done button. What you simply do is just press the X in the top right hand corner We'll close that pane and here you are here is our new sway document press play and this is what it would look like to anyone accessing it so you can scroll through the pictures appear there's the text now you can modify it or if, it, if you don't particularly like it but in this case i'm pretty happy with it now if i want to go back i'll just go up to my web browser and press back takes me back to this. Now one last thing before I finish this video, I'm going to click on the Sway name up top left hand corner and that will take me back to the main home page. Um, you can upload more than just PowerPoints. So if I click on start from a document, you can actually upload Word documents. So I'm going to left click once in this Word document and select open. And what it does is it gathers all the text. Uh, it realizes what the title is in the Word document. So it's just going to do that for me now. So that was the title. It realizes what that was. And then it takes all the text that's on one page and puts into one card. So if I had multiple pages in this particular Word document, it would be on multiple cards. However, I might want it to be on, I might want a picture to be between this, these two paragraphs and these paragraphs. So you can select these. This is all the text that was in that. I'm going to press X, it's a plus symbol. Say text, please. I want a text box. Select that. Control X. Sorry. Control V, rather. 
um, and it will paste the text that I've just uh, cut before in the previous cut. Now I could go through more with this, but I think I'll leave that for another um, Tech Lounge video. I hope this helps um, and hopefully you can think of some great ways to present new information to students or have students present new information to you.